Karibu sana tanokali. So How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. DJ Final has been threatened by the fact that you have a guitar. <laughs> yeah, DJ is just, I don't yeah. understand. Uh, something in you, Fanya. It's again. No, I'm to question. Labda tu anacheza na ongei. Lakini something is happening to mm. yeah. someone. Lakini si mko na pia deck hapo hivyo. Ah. I doubt. I, I, I doubt. I, 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 <laughs> anyway. Stop being on that joy. All right. Yes. So, guys, uh, tell us a bit about your. You're an Afro pop artist. Yes. So, tell us a bit about that and how you got into the genre you're in. Is it something mm -hmm. you always wanted to do? I'm mm -hmm. always kids all sorts of genres and then you settle on something. Uh, okay. First of all, my name is Gaduto. Uh -huh. That is my stage name. Mm -hmm. Um, Afro pop was more of something I really loved from Kitambo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I enjoy African music and especially Kenyan music. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to find a way that, uh, a way in which I can do uh, music in such a way that I can make it international, mm -hmm. but in a Kenyan way. Mm. Yes, that, that, that's the goal. That's also the international with a bit of Kenyan. Yes, home, yes, international that. and home yeah, coming together. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, so then when you were getting into the music, what was that experience like getting people who can help you along the music journey? Uh, probably building a team, pay, getting someone mm -hmm. to help you produce music. Is this something you did all by yourself? Um, or you got people to come and make uh, the whole shebang happen? Um, it was a bit of an interesting journey. Mm -hmm. I, I think I learned most of the things myself, production and everything. Ah. So. So I produce my own music most of the time, mm -hmm. but I also work with certain producers here and there, mm -hmm. but I try to learn from them. And uh, I think I, I, I started music seriously when I started playing the guitar. That's mm -hmm. when I started. When you start playing the guitar? Uh, in 2020. Uh -huh. uh, during COVID, at, at the time when you were all at home doing right. nothing, so I you decided know, everybody has that. something they learned, and yes, I'm always like, yes. people learn how to play guitar. What did you learn, <laughs> DJ Final? Mm. Uh, I just remember it's about to be said. You learned how to play guitar literally two, three years ago. Yes. yes. Oh, before then, but you had an interest in music then, and then the guitar, once you learned, it went mm. all the way. Yes, yes. Mm. Okay, my, my interest in music, Ilianza na dance, and then I could a bit of rapping, then mm -hmm. singing, and then now the guitar came afterwards. Yeah. After I learned a bit of singing in choirs up in Nepal, mm -hmm. I was in Red Fourth Choir. So oh. yeah, mm -hmm. happened only Joko Imba nini nini. And then now the guitar now came in uh, in 2020. Right. Yes. So basically it's literally been a journey from dance to this yes. to that. Oh, that's yes. really yes. lovely. Yes. So uh, now writing your music, some of the mm -hmm. songs that you've released so mm -hmm. far, what was the writing process like? Is that something you do on your own or so you have people who come in and help? You sit in a circle, in a writer's room of sorts. Oh, it's a bit of both. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time I draw from my own personal experiences mm -hmm. and also the experiences of those around me or people I hear, or lipitia hii na hii. So ah. I come up with some lyrics or a song. Uh, sometimes I write with uh, fellow artists. Sometimes we have sessions to Nakachini. Mm -hmm. Actually, those are the easier ones. And wakati mko wengi and you're writing together. But yeah, I do both. I write on my own and also mm -hmm. write with friends. All right, so yes. speaking of writing, I believe you have an album coming up. Yes, yes. Uh, Tell us a bit more about that. What the process has been like with you coming up with it, the features, collaborations, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, this is my first album. Mm. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yes, it's called uh, Nijazilie. Nijazilie means uh, fill me with more and more and more. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was an album in which I did not do any collaborations. Mm. So I did everything myself. It was more of a challenge. Yeah. I wanted to see if I can like compose, uh, write, produce, all of it. I did it myself, mm -hmm. uh, except uh, one song that we wrote with someone, mm -hmm. but I performed it alone also. But yeah, so it's a, it's a debut album where I do everything as a solo artist on my own. But maybe in future albums, I plan to consider collaborations and stuff. Yeah, so it will be dropping uh, on April. I have an album launch event, so all of you are invited. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be at NIMPA. Uh, that's Nairobi mm -hmm. Institute of Music oh. and Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where is, where is NIMPA? It's located uh, at Kanopi Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of easy yes, uh, yes. Do we have ticket sales? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You can get your tickets at Hassel Sasa. Mm -hmm. uh, just type Gaduto. Hassel Sasa Gaduto. Mm -hmm. um, you can also get the tickets in my bio, uh, Instagram, uh, TikTok, everywhere. The poster is there. Uh, as well, if you search Gaduto, mm -hmm. you'll find everything you need. Yes, ah, yes. Okay. So, uh, so let me ask. Within now, you with mm -hmm. the, uh, sorry, the upcoming album, mm -hmm. um, your debut album. Yes. What is that point in time where you learned? making not just making music for it being a passion the realities of making 
music a music business like you wanting to get money out of it and get shows and stuff like that what was that switch like we could realize okay i like this but i want to make some money out of it oh mm -hmm. uh, what happened is uh, there was a time i was under management mm -hmm. i was managed by uh, a friend of mine uh, he taught me these things about making your music into something more of professional something that can get to earn me more money mm -hmm. but unfortunately he passed on uh, in oh 2022 boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, but from then on, I've been an independent artist using the things I learned from him. Mm. Yeah. Was it yeah. heavy having to do this by yourself, knowing you had someone that was along the way? Yes, oh, yes, okay, uh, it's been so difficult, but I, I'd say I, I got to learn a lot from him. Oh, his name was Ali. Mm -hmm. Ali, may he rest in peace. And uh, he taught me so much. We worked together for a few months uh, in, the m in the year 2022. Mm -hmm. So by the time uh, he passed on, I'd learned so much that... I just decided to apply these things on my own. Mm. It's been difficult, yes, because uh, there are things I still don't know yet, but I'm right. getting there slowly by slowly. Mm. Yes. Okay, so what would be, for you, since I know it's, it's, it's such a huge and personal loss for you mm. because of that, but how would it work if at all in the future you'd want to look into management and being under, what are they called, record labels yes. and stuff like that? What would that look like for an artist as you who's mm. worked solo on a whole album by yourself? You know, what would that transition feel like in your opinion? Uh, I think it will be easier for, it will be easier in such a way that uh, given that now I've learned most of these things by myself, if I do get a manager, mm -hmm. I'd say hatakuwa na kazi mingi sana. Yes, uh, like, itakuwa sati ya nanza kunifunza, these eh, other things happen, in eh. I already know, so it will be more of a, actually it will be more of a partnership mm -hmm. kind of thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are some of your dream collabs right here and probably just international? <laughs> Dream collabs. Uh -huh. eh, ni mingi. Ni mingi. Sijuni anzi. Same, yeah. same <laughs> to all of them. Someone <laughs> could be listening somewhere. Uh -huh. um, uh, let me start with uh, Huku. Mm -hmm. Huku, I dream to collab with uh, Kinoti. Mm -hmm. Kinoti, uh, there is um, Ethan. Mm -hmm. um, Jerai. Yes, tunat kipanda. Mm, tuna <laughs> Bien. Uh -huh. Uh, tuenda tuenda tukienda, uh, tunafika Banner Boy. Mm. Yes, so inenda tuki fanda Ed Sheeran. Ito Kenya tumengi ya yes. ini. Ed yes. Sheeran. Yes. Oh yes. my gosh, that would be so lovely. lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a journey. Yeah, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Mm, for sure, and we wish you the very best of luck. Mm. All right, you're time left to work with my time, Kidogo, but I'm so glad you came in studio because now at least we'll get to hear some of your music, first-hand acoustic music. Yes. Um, and also, have you have a live show coming up as well. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Uh, that's the vibe. Uh, Yay. Yes, it will be happening on 31st of March mm -hmm. on Sunday. I hope you've gotten your tickets. Yeah, I'll actually be performing, uh, I'll be opening the stage for great artists such as Kinoti. Mm -hmm. uh, when you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's Wanjine, there's um, African Vic, mm -hmm. and there's Modest Jabai. Ah, yes, all right. Yes, so ah, looking forward to it. Namikom Kanikombe, I'll plug you on to something. Yeah. See, so next Sunday, you could come to a show that Gadutu is performing at, mm -hmm. along at, alongside other people as well. And then, two weekends after that, you get to go to his album launch, and yeah. then support the creative arts as well. Okay, your socials. Please mm -hmm. also, first, before your socials, your music, where can we get, what's your... So on Spotify, YouTube, where is it? Yes, my music? music is on all streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. Just search the name Gathuto. G-A-T-H-U-T-O. I like how you emphasize the people because I personally <laughs> know for a fact yes. I said Gathuto the first time I met you. It's, yes. it's right yeah. there. That's what I did. You can talk to music. Okay, tell me. Gathuto. Yes, I think so many people mispronounce that name. Yeah, uh, yeah so I have to spell it out. Yeah. G-A-T. But actually, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I actually have merchandise in Takwano Zayosi Kuya album launch, so mm. yeah, eh, turn up. So, yeah, I was saying it's G A T H U T O. Mm -hmm. Anywhere, uh, all social media platforms Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Zote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just search the name Gaduto and you'll find my music there, as well as uh, details on my upcoming events. Okay, mm -hmm. that's lovely to hear. Thank you so much. Now, without further ado, let's hear a little bit of something. Reminder, it's Gaduto on all social media platforms and for Spotify and YouTube as well. Um, I think I'll start with, uh, I'll do one song. Uh, this song is called Esther. Yeah, it's the first song I released after sa I started working as an independent artist. Ah. So it's a love song about a lady named Esther. First time that I saw you 
your smile Made me feel like I'm gonna die Made me feel like I could get high You can eat changanya, not your waistline I made my move Nika songa karibu Nika G introduce Hoping that town I own to And that made my move Nika songa karibu Nika G introduce Hoping that town I own to Then you said your name was Esther And that you wanted to get down So you gave me your number Ili ni kuvuti e waya Then you said your name was Esther And that you wanted to get down To get down Ime bambika noe Na sitaki mwingine Mapenzi ya kotele Ni jazilie Ime bambika na wewe Sitaki mwingine mapenzi ya kotele Nijazilie, nijazilie